We're going live, live, live. We're going live. Welcome to TWB. Uh, I was thinking the other day, uh, how you guys doing? How's it going? Bruce here, traveling with Bruce. I was just thinking the other day about TTW, the other day about TWB, and a song came to mind. It was like, uh, 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 we are TWB, all my brothers, sisters, and me. Hey, hey, we are TWB. Mm, mm, mm. All my brothers, sisters, and me. Mm, mm. And then I and then I lost it. But anyway, hey, how you guys doing? Uh, I don't own a copyright for that song, so you know I can't uh, I can't uh, perform that. How's everybody doing? <laughs> Welcome back to Traveling with Bruce. It's Bruce here in Creston, BC, uh, Smoky uh, Creston, British Columbia, uh, Smoky British Columbia, Smoky Alberta, Smoky Canada, sm uh, Smoky everywhere. It's unbelievable. Uh, this is just a depressing uh, day after day after day. But what are you going to do? I, I didn't start the fire. We didn't start the fire. That's another song. Um, we're just here with TWB. What can I say? Welcome to my channel, Traveling with Bruce. Those of you who are watching this for the first time, you're wondering, who is this guy? What is he doing trying to sing Sister Sledge songs? What's up with this guy? Um, <laughs> generally speaking, I love talking about cruise ships. <laughs> uh, I've been away for nine days from my home base, which is right here. Um, been in Calgary, Alberta the last nine days. Got back yesterday with Jen, my Jennifer Aniston lookalike wife, who you've never seen, but you know. Trust me, she looks just like Jennifer Aniston. Uh, she, she wants to say, trust her. She looks just like Jennifer Aniston. And uh, we got back yesterday, um, and we drove through everything. I got to tell you, we 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 endured everything yesterday. Uh, uh, the good news is we left Calgary in a rainstorm. That's a good thing, because Calgary has been bone dry. The area all around it has been bone dry. And I'm just so happy to see... Uh, you know, moisture showing up, higher humidity levels. This makes the fires, you know, slow down a bit, perhaps. But unfortunately, the weather is not rainy across Western Canada. That is far from happening. There are isolated shower pockets here and there, but we sure need a, an influx of rain big time to really get a shot at it. But uh, uh, we're surrounded by fires here in Creston, where I am. I, I'm I'm three miles north of the Idaho border, just down here. I can't see America today. Uh, there are mountains uh, seven miles south of us that are in America. I can't see them. They're totally blocked from snow, from smoke. I haven't seen them since I got here yesterday. So uh, I'm assuming America is still there. I uh, hope you guys are okay down in the USA. Uh, but here in, in Canada, we're just sucked in with the smoke. Um, fires are uh, south of us, uh, east of us, west of us, north of us. And we're just, you know, we're just breathing the same air and it just gets swirling around. What are you going to do? But I'm glad to be back, and I'm glad to uh, to be back here at my home base. My cousin arrived from Germany with his wife on uh, Thursday, I believe it was, and, uh, and I spent a bit of time with them. Actually, Wednesday night they arrived, and we spent Thursday with them and a bit of Friday with them and then came here. And uh, they're coming to visit us in a few days. They'll be here in about five, six days after they uh, see some of the mountain area. But I'll tell you, they're, they're what are you gonna do? You drive, you fly all the way from Germany to come over to see Canada, and uh, you, you're sucked in with smoke. Sorry. So they'll get close to the mountains. <laughs> they'll be in the mountains. They'll see what they can, and uh, I'm sure it'll still be pretty spectacular for them. But uh, but they're gonna have to work their way down here next week, and we'll entertain them a little bit and show them a bit of uh, the area here. So there you go. Um, Thank you, everybody, for uh, tolerating my moving around and watching the, the channel. In the meantime, thank you for your comments, your thumbs ups, your words of encouragement. Thank you for donations. Thank you for just all kinds of uh, wonderful things. Uh, all your support, uh, very much appreciated. I love it, of course. I've been trying to do videos uh, between this uh, these road trips. Uh, I was able to do some videos in Calgary. I noticed a number of you, of course, you noticed them and, and let me know that. Um, and so today is my first show since... Uh, since what, Thursday, I guess, uh, Wednesday. I was on Wednesday, I wasn't on Thursday or Friday. I'm off tomorrow, I might put a video on on my own if I just make one, but I'm not sure if I got one to go off for cooking. I got something cooking right now that might take a few days to put together. And then I'll be back on Monday as usual, Tuesday and next week. I'll let you know later in the week how the rest of the schedule looks once my uh, relatives get here from, uh, from uh, we're in Germany, from here from Germany. All right. Uh, what else I'm gonna tell you? The channel's growing. Uh, the channel's still growing. Uh, 2,581 subscribers now. We're just short of 2,600 subscribers. Thank you, everybody who's new. Uh, those of you who are watching me casually and are, might want to consider becoming a subscriber, please do consider. Please become one. There's a button here. There's a button over there, 
And uh, this button over here, let me get my thumb right there. It's a button over there. Uh, beside that button is a little uh, bell uh, icon. Click on that, and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video and when I'm going live. Um, that would be terrific. Uh, thank you for everybody for giving me thumbs ups on all my videos. Uh, every time I get a thumbs up, it uh, shows YouTube the engagement factor is alive and well for this guy. He has uh, uh, people who like what he's doing. Um, it, it just helps with the momentum of the channel and it encourages YouTube to suggest videos I've made to others who are looking for information on cruising, traveling, whatever the subject is. If I've, if I've made a video that has something to do with it, YouTube will recommend their the, a video of mine to them, and they may become regular viewers of this channel. And the more the merrier, I say. So that would be terrific. Please give up some thumbs ups if you could spare them to me. That would be terrific. Thank you for donations to the channel, guys. I appreciate that also. Uh, keeps me on the air. It's, this is my full-time job. Got home. Uh, I'm just going to double check something here. Uh, I got here uh, yesterday afternoon uh, through the smoke, as I was saying. I'm just checking all my messages, all you folks who are signing. By the way, that's why I'm looking over here. Here's my phone. Um, and I just want to make sure uh, there's someone I'm looking for. He isn't here yet. So when I see him, I will mention something about him. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, yeah, got here in a smoke. Oh, it's just terrible. It, right right here, wait, one mile visibility. Just terrible. Outside, you don't need sunglasses. Yesterday morning in Calgary, had to put the headlights on. It was that dark, that dark first thing in the morning. Uh, we left Costco around, um, what was it, about uh, 10, 30, 11 in the morning, Calgary time. I suppose usually just so bright you have to have your sunglasses on. We couldn't see the sky, nothing. We could see two miles. And we were on the expressway getting out of town. Headlights, everybody. Just just like an afternoon commute coming home. It was just unbelievable. Just sad. Anyway, what are you going to do? Um, let's say hi to see who's here. Say hi to everybody. 23 folks are watching right now. Welcome to the show, Tom Henry. Hi, Bruce. Welcome back. We missed you. Same here, guys. Kat's here. Uh, Wendy. Uh, hi there. Wendy saying hi, everybody. Kat, Wendy. What else is going on here? Uh, uh, Kat, Wendy, Henry. Tom Henry's here. 81 in Richmond. How you doing, buddy? Jim Thomas. Hello. It's only 90 here in Anderson, California today. Uh, we're at 93% containment. Uh, boy. Uh, on that 230,000 acre fire. Boy, I hope you get that thing snuffed out. Boy, that's incredible. That's just been terrible. Uh, fantastic, uh, Jim. I'm glad to hear that much progress has been made. Kat says that uh, NASA has a picture of how much of the world is burning up right now. It is a sad thing to see. Uh, uh, they're, they're bad. I think I saw a statement that uh, Jim is saying, that he said that where the wildfires are worse than the oil field fires that was set by the Iraqis in Kuwait back in the Gulf War. Unbelievable. It's just terrible. Um, it's sad. We have some really big fires in Northern British Columbia and they're out of, still out of control. It is terrible. Kat and Tom saying hi to everybody. Jim is going, uh, saying hello. We're all tired of the smoke. We agree. Um, uh, Jim Thomas. Yeah. Um, the other fire is about a hundred thousand acres bigger than this one. We do have eight people that perished in the fire and luckily there were only like three, uh, for the rest. It's just terrible. The, any casualty is a sad story. It really is. Um, um, I don't know what to make it. Oh yeah, Jim Thomas talking about uh, fire management issues. There's just all kinds of nonsense there. Uh, it's a, it's a sad it's a sad story. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> uh, gosh, um, climate change and uh, everything else is being discussed here, folks. Sorry, sorry for me stalling here, folks. I'm just I just want to get to messages and say hi to everybody and and, and let people talk amongst themselves, which is great. Uh, it's one of the nice things about this channel. You can say hi to everybody. Sylvan Forrest is here. Hi, Bruce and everyone. 88 Fahrenheit, slight rain here in, in Southern Florida. Thumbs up, everyone. I'm sailing tomorrow morning. Everything I will need is laid out of my bed. Packing will take place tonight. Sylvan, you're going on your cruise tomorrow. Have a great time. Uh, uh, you sure deserve it. And uh, look forward to hearing from you uh, when you come back and let us know how it went. That's fantastic. Jim Thomas, Northern California has no spokesman, basically our way of life from Southern California. I, the North is a totally different territory than the South. If you've ever been to Los Angeles, it's nothing like Northern California. And I think Northern California is completely different than Los Angeles or San Diego or, or, or Long Beach. It has nothing to do with the other. You have to go there and experience it for yourself. I've had the, the good fortune of driving through there a few times and spending a, a tiny amount of time in that area, beautiful area. Um, that is fantastic. Jim is wishing uh, 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 Sylvana a great cruise. Um, Paul Wolgus is here. Hi, everybody. Welcome back, Bruce. Hey, Paul, thank you. Um, Tom Henry, of course, is here. Uh, let's see. Matt Byrne is here. We leave for our cruise in 10 days, and uh, two tropical waves are coming from Africa. 
we sailed the week Irma hit Florida last year, and we're <laughs> well. Hopefully, these two tropical waves will you know not do so much. We'll see, Matt. Uh, keep our fingers crossed. I, feel, I know the cruise will not go in the middle of trouble. The ship will stay away from trouble. Believe me. Cat is laughing. Uh, Dom Henry, where are you cruising to, Matt? Reggie and her man, busy painting in the house, listening in. Thank you, Reggie and her man. So, uh, Sylvia's here. Hi, all. Sylvia coming from Wilmington, North Carolina. It's 94 degrees, visiting our daughter and celebrating her 24-year-old birthday. Party is on later today. Fantastic. Sylvia and Forrest, very nice shirt uh, uh, there, mister. Uh, very nice shirt. What what shirt are you talking about there, Sylvia? Uh, I don't know what you're saying. Uh, a shirt? What shirt? What shirt dost thou refer to? Thomas saying no orange, Reggie. Matt Byrne, Eastern Caribbean. Last year we got four days and had to go to Cozumel from, from an Eastern itinerary. That's what ships will do. They'll get out of the way. Uh, Tom Henry saying best wishes on your cruise. Matt, thank you. Hope for the best. Sylvan at Tom Henry. Thanks. I will share pictures and video when I return. Returning September 2nd. Fantastic. Deanna's here. Uh, hi, Deanna. Thumbs up. It's Tom Henry. Uh, Terrific, Sylvan Forrest. Uh, Wendy, uh, good choice. I like purple, Wendy is saying. Uh, Sylvia Swan, hi, Bruce. I had my daughter help me sign uh, onto Facebook and your channel, and you're now a member of the uh, channel. You're now approved as a member. Fantastic. Traveling with Bruce on Facebook. Another member has joined in. Sylvia's in there. Fantastic. D&G Explorers, good morning here from Bakersfield. Yes, Bakersfield. We're in Bakersfield. 82 degrees right now. Way to go, guys. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Ethel Tyler, good afternoon. Bruce 77 here in Clarksburg, West, West Virginia. Ethel, welcome to my show. Welcome to my channel. I don't know if you're brand new, but if you are, welcome aboard. If you're a returning uh, viewer, welcome back. And I'm glad you're here. I uh, hope you become a subscriber of my channel. Uh, let's see your Tom Henry. Uh, um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's wrong with that my comment? Uh, Tom Henry just commented, my new... Uh, my new uh, TWB shirt arrived yesterday, red with the porthole pick plus two tote bags. Fantastic! Way to go, guy! That's fantastic. Paul Wilgus, uh, hello D and G. Wendy, uh, hi everybody. Hi Bruce. Hi Wendy. D and G. Hi Paul. Tom Henry, tote bags with the seal and and was surprised. The seal is on both sides, both sided. Oh, I did not know that. That's fantastic, Tom. Thanks for letting me know that. Suzanne Hoffman, greetings all. Hi Suzanne. Tom Henry saying hi there. Uh, Shuana Love, hello, Bruce and all. Hi, Shuana Love. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my show. If you're new, let me know. Uh, if you're not new, forgive me and welcome back. Uh, this is great. Uh, D&G, uh, hi, Tom. T Jim Thomas, sorry, vented on here, Bruce. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay. We all vent. It's all good. Uh, it just cost me 20 subscribers when I vent. If I start venting, I lose subscribers. So I have to, you know, got to be, got to be nice. Uh, it's great, Jim. Thank you. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, we all know California's uh, uh, a cray cray led by cra <laughs> crazy Nancy. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Fines for disturbing straws. Okay. Thanks, Tom. Uh, thanks for costing me another 20 subscribers. Silo, Steve Hayes. Hey, Bruce and all. Um, 65 for the high in Seattle, 53 for the low. Uh, we have a misty rain going now. Only 63 days to the Bliss Haven in Mexico. Misty rain. I'm glad you're getting that. And spread that inland, would you? Because, boy, do we need it the rest of the country. Oh, my gosh. Here in the Northwest, are we dry? <coughs> Deanna. Uh, De uh, Dina. Dina. I keep wanting to say Deanna. But is that is that how he's supposed to say it? I don't know how to pronounce this name. I see Dean, D-E-A-N. Then I see another N and an A. So I want to say Dina. Or is it Deanna, D-E-A-N-N-A. How do you, you know? So what do I do? You know, do, do I go DM? You know, I, I want to be careful here. I don't want to cost myself 150 subscribers for mispronouncing names. But you know, this is one of my faults. Ah, DM is here and says, I unpacked from my cruise. <laughs> but my suitcases are still out. I don't have the heart to put them away. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know the answer to that. Book another cruise and just keep them handy. So when it's time to go, you just repack them, even if it is 200 days from now. Well, the suitcases are right here. I'm ready to go as soon as I, you know, I don't want to put them away. And I got to go and get them again. Why I want to waste all that energy? Good comment. Ed Tolson Jr. is here. Hey, all from New York City, 81 here in Big Apple. How you doing, uh, Ed? Welcome back. Cat is saying nice. Paul Wilga, 75 here in Virginia. Got down to 50 last night. We were in the 50s as well. Calgary in the high 40s. Cooling right off. Uh, uh, Jim Thomas uh, is saying, I bought one of your shirts that had the porthole in the middle. Kind of reminds me of that movie with Goldie Hawn and Meryl Streep, where at one point she shoot, she shoots. All right, and there's a big through hole. Oh, there's a big hole through. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that movie with the uh, the the women. <laughs> the three is it the three gals that, uh, or is it the two gals? The two gals that can't uh, they they won't die. They they yeah, that's right. You, they can do anything to each other. One kills it. One shot the other. And she had a big hole through her chest. 
<laughs> Very good, Jim. Very good. Suzanne Hoffman, has anyone heard if there are any cruise cancellations due to the Hawaiian hurricane? Um, only one thing I've heard, Suzanne, is that the Pride of America, which circles um, the Hawaiian Islands on a weekly cruise, they were one day longer uh, for their cruise before they can get back um, into, I believe, Honolulu. And they also uh, canceled one shore stop and stayed an extra night at another one instead. So they stayed well north of the storm and let the storm kind of make that left-hand turn. And, and now they're coming in from behind it as things have calmed back down behind the storm. So that that's much I know. I don't know if any cruises out of LA canceled anywhere else towards Hawaii, have not heard anything. I'm sure that if there were any cruise ships going through Hawaii or around Hawaii, they would have just diverted and avoided the whole area. Nobody would have been in danger, uh, but no cancellations that I know of. Wendy Thompson, there's a game for our group cruise. There's a game for our group cruise. Let Bruce pronounce words. There you go. Just, just give Bruce tough ones. And we'll have the time of our lives. Tom Henry, um, uh, Deanna, I laugh out loud. My suitcase is still out next to the bed from me. <laughs> Partly packed for the next cruise. <laughs> uh, go back if we have a quick group cruise. There you go. I'm ready to go, Bruce. You just give me the word. I got my suitcase right by my bed. Bingo. I'm out of here in 15 minutes. This is awesome. Paul Wilgus is laughing. Uh, Sylvia is saying hi to Wendy. Laughing out loud. DNG, uh, we bought shirts, but we'll take a picture and put it on your Facebook when we get, get them in. There you go. Thank you very much, you guys. I can't wait to see you guys with those shirts on. That's fantastic. Thank you, everybody, for your support. I'll know it's uh, Kat, um, but is some fires in uh, Lahani spelling. Oh, some fires in Lahani. Unbelievable. Uh, Tom Henry, where in the world is Robert Brandt? I, I think Robert Brandt is um, en route from um, Thailand back to uh, St. Thomas or Florida or, my, or, or Naples or wherever he's headed. Uh, something tells me he's on the air on Monday. I think he'll be back watching us on Monday because the last message I got from him was, uh, looks like the next time I talk to you will be on Monday. That, that's my hunch, but uh, I, can't, I can't be 100% certain. I don't quite know. That's all I've got. Um, news of the day. The only news I was going to really talk about today about cruise ship news, and then I've got trivia for you guys uh, if you're ready for some trivia. Um, the only news I have today was that uh, Carnival made an announcement that they're making changes to their uh, cheers package, that drink package that Carnival has. They're making adjustments to that. Oh, thank you. It's pronounced Deanna. Laugh out loud. Oh, thank you, Deanna. Thank you for telling me. I, I, I really need all the help I can get. As you can plainly see, and my regulars, they know how much fun I have with names. Thank you for helping me on that one. I'll try to remember that now. Deanna, fantastic. Okay, the story is Carnival is changing their drink package. And the biggest change that I seemed to get out of it was that uh, under the existing package, the deal was you were paying like uh, fifty one ninety nine before your cruise plus a fifteen percent gratuity if you booked the drink package, you know, before your cruise started, or you would be paying fifty six ninety nine plus tips fifteen percent if you bought the package on board. That's still the same apparently. It's a fifteen drink per day allotment, so it's not an unlimited drink package. It's fifteen drinks a day. But that does cover alcohol, beer, wine, specialty coffees, and soda, and water. Um, even milkshakes and, you know, creamy, frosty drinks. That, that, it's a drink package, but it's 15 a day. Um, but the old deal was uh, that, uh, apart from this, the old deal was that if any drink cost up to $50, so if you bought a glass of wine that was $34 a glass, it was included in your drink package. As long as it was under 50, you were okay. So if you were buying some high-end scotch or whiskey or, you know, not top-end rum, uh, up to 50 bucks a, a drink, you were covered under the drink package deal here, the so-called cheers package. Now the limit is $20. But let me ask you this, uh, $20, what does that mean? Uh, they could they could make a drink package, uh, uh, you know. Uh, they could charge you for a cocktail, eight bucks or or fifteen bucks. What's the difference? They can jack the prices around so much that the twenty dollar number is almost irrelevant. So I can see a sixteen dollar glass of wine becoming a twenty four dollar glass of wine next week, and now that wine isn't covered either. It used to be free or not free included in your package under the old rules. 
Now with the new rules, it's still not covered because it's over 20 bucks. I mean, they can, they can jack us around on these booze prices always to Sunday. I hate being critical of cruise lines, but I got to call them out and just call a spade a spade. I think here, uh, I think they can, you know, play the numbers. But they say that anything over 20, 20 bucks, you get 25% off. Well, is it the differential or is it on the whole thing? What if, if it's a $22 drink? Do you have to pay $5.50 for a $22 drink because it's $2 over the amount? Or do you pay 25% of the $2, the difference between 20 and 22? What's what's going on here? I, I don't know. I, I get I I sat down with Jennifer this morning and we played the let's pretend game. Uh we're on a cruise together on like one of our Mexican cruises that we've been on numerous times. Would this work for us? The answer, no. <laughs> it would not work for us. It wouldn't work for me because I'm a caffeine-free Diet Coke drinker out of the TWB uh, uh, product. Cheers to all of you today. Um, and Jennifer, who loves a glass of wine with dinner, loves to have a nice cold beer on a hot day, loves to have a rum and Coke from time to time and, and all that sort of stuff. She did the math. She can't justify the math. We... We figured that first thing in the morning, we'd each have a specialty drink, maybe a tea or a coffee. I'd have the latte. She'd have some kind of tea. So, okay, then we go have breakfast and, and maybe another, maybe a specialty coffee. I wouldn't. I, I Once I've had my latte, I'm good for the morning. Um, water is included because you have to pay for water. So, okay, we buy, we each get a bottle of water maybe in the morning. I'd head for the spa. I'd want a cola. So I would grab my drink mug, my travel mug, and I'd get a cola, you know, take that with me and for at least a drink. Then after that, I would just drink the water provided. Uh, Jennifer would head to the cabin and, and, and maybe on the balcony read a book for a little while. Or if it's a nice, sunny, gorgeous day, she'll head up the pool deck. She'll have a, a you know, eventually she'll have a beer and whatever. But we did that. We added it all up. And Jennifer cannot justify $52 plus tipping as another seven, eight bucks. That's 60 bucks a day. We can't come up with the math. And that's a C day. That's a, we're on the ship all day long. Now we figured out, well, we get off the ship in uh, Puerto Vallarta or or or, uh, or Mazatlan, and we head in Mazatlan. We love to go to the best Western hotel right in downtown Mazatlan, go to the roof, head up to that uh, top uh, deck up there and, and, and see a 360-degree view of Mazatlan, albeit it's only 14 stories tall, but still it's the tallest building in the area. So you got a great unobstructed view of old town Mazatlan. She's going to have a margarita. Sure. You're in Mexico. Of course, you can have a margarita. I got a caffeine-free. I got a Diet Coke with a wedge of lime. That's what I got going. Um, we're not drinking on the ship. And uh, we're off the ship for three hours, four hours. We get back on the ship. And now it's uh, uh, coming up to four in the afternoon, maybe. Three in the afternoon. Head for the spa. Uh, change. Get ready for dinner. How are we going to justify 60 bucks a day for these drinks? Uh, and you have a five-minute limit between each drink. And you have a limit of 15 per day per person. Now, I know of people, and you know of people out there, I know you do, who uh, look at this as a sport, and they're going, I want to have five drinks an hour, 10 drinks an hour, all day long. I'm going to have me 30 shots or 30 bottles of beer or whatever they're doing to abuse themselves and really make the ship pay for their convenience. Oh. You can't do that seven days or if you are, you're a full-blown raging alcoholic and uh, you're sick. Uh, for those of us having a holiday on a cruise ship, I can't justify these dollars. I, I think we're better off just buying a la carte. And uh, uh, if you want to get uh, hammered, uh, get hammered on shore. <laughs> but be careful. Uh, if you do get hammered on shore, don't cause any trouble because you're in a jurisdiction. You might not know the local rules, customs, and laws, uh, you might find yourself in a jail cell. So be very, very careful out there. Anyway, that's the news of the day for uh, for uh, cruising today. I did see a small little story about a, uh, a a passenger ship got stranded. It got grounded up in the Arctic, uh, Was uh, run, ran aground on some rock formation of something like that. No damage to the ship. It was just stuck. They brought a second ship in, transferred the passengers over. They were all of 80 passengers, 100 passengers. It was a very small little ship. Canadian Coast Guard is up there to assist to get the ship off the rocks. It's already off the rocks, and uh, you know they'll they'll inspect it. And there's no, it's not a big story, so I don't even bother mentioning it to you. It's just not a big story. If it were a Carnival cruise ship with 3,000 passengers and it ran aground, I'd have been on the air hours ago, live with updates. But um, 
not this one, not, not much going on there. So that's uh, the latest here. Let's see what the comments are. As, as I've been kind of spieling away, have people been talking about anything else uh, in the meantime? Uh, <laughs> I love that comment. Got my suitcase right by the bed, Bruce. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Robert, uh, 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 MG Toa saying that Robert is eating too much of that great Thai food. I bet you he is. Deanna, I don't know how anyone can drink 15 drinks a day, even if it's water and soda. Well, yeah, I mean, one coffee, a bottle of water, a beer, another bottle of water, a soda, then a glass of wine with lunch, maybe. No, no I don't. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, MG Toe, uh, Deanna, Deanna, it's the, uh, it's the Alkies that like it. Uh, <laughs> the heck with Carnival. DNG, don't forget to hit the uh, like button, guys and gals. Thank you, DNG. You guys are great. They got a channel on YouTube. They've just broken 310, 15, must be over 320 subscribers by now. They're growing every day. Fantastic. Sylvan Forest, La, 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 Hayana, Maui. La, oh, here we go. La, Ha, Ina, Lahaina. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Sylvain. Without that, I don't know how I do it. Delightful place with a wonderful Banyan Park, right there in downtown uh, Lahaina. The tree occupies the whole park. Uh, I love uh, Banyas, and we had a great luau for my birthday. Right on, man. That's that must have been fantastic. Uh, Esther, uh, Ethel Tyler is here, uh, leaving October the 14th um, on Allure of the Seas for eight days to the Eastern Caribbean. First big ship I've been on, plus first balcony I will have. Uh, Ethel, it's a whole new experience. I, I'm sure you're going to love it. You're going to find it amazing. Uh, you're just going to be blown away by this thing. This thing is huge. This is one big ship. You're not going to be able to see it all. You'll be taking photos all over the place if you remember to do that. <laughs> You might forget to take pictures because you're just going, oh, my God, look at this thing. This is great. Ethel, I'm so glad you're uh, you're getting ready for that one. That's fantastic. Desi Wagner is here from Chicago. Hi, Bruce and all. Hope you are having a great Saturday. Uh, it will be hot and humid today. It's just about 85 and rising. Expect in the 90s in the next couple of days. Hang in there, Desi, in good old Chicago land. And say hi to everybody out there and tell them to watch Traveling with Bruce, TWB. Reggie and her man, uh, Tom Henry, no orange, and Ari white and dusty yellow. <laughs> Jim Thomas, no Deb E still get ready to go to that wedding, though she was missing her Bruce fix, laughing out loud. She's going to a wedding today, can't watch Traveling with Bruce. Oh, my goodness, this is terrible. She won't be able to watch until Monday at work. Oh, that's, that's awful. Uh, Deanna, I uh, can't, just, can't justify it either, uh, the drink package. Uh, I hear you there, Deanna. Desi Wagner, nice shirt, Bruce. Oh, thank you, Desi. A uh, little, little, little something I picked out on a website that I found. Uh, kind of like the logo there, the TWB. I really like the silver here uh, on the design here and here, and um, it, it just it just looks it just came out looking pretty good. I, I, I'm the lighting here is not doing it as the justice maybe it should be doing it, but yeah, I kind of like that. It's beautiful. Uh, man, I'm I'm really proud of this one. Um, Jim Thomas, how dare her cousin get married on an on a day that Bruce is having a show? What, don't these kids pay attention? To, what's with these kids? I'm on six days a week. You got one day a week. Use it. I mean, come on. <laughs> MG2 on board a ship. The best drink uh, is water because alcohol only dehydrates you. There you go. Tom Henry, I can't even justify the tip charge on the free drink package. Yeah, that's right. Eight bucks in this case, almost eight bucks just for the tip. Uh, yeah, Cat Rose, me either. Reggie Nerman, Sylvan Forrest, safe travels. Uh, Deanna, you you can't do it because they actually do limit you how many drinks that you can get within a certain amount of time. There, there it is. And I mean, there are other cruise lines out there who have even you know much more restrictive policies than this. I mean, they'll they'll you know they'll give you the eighty dollar, ninety dollar price for the so called enjoy whatever you want drink, but try to get them uh, easier said than done. But then again, if you got cash money to tip on top of the tipping you're already making, I guess. But just buy them a la carte. I would say, I just my thought. Uh, very few people actually, you know, in percentage terms, take the drink package from what I understand. It's not a high percentage, but yeah, their cruise lines love it when you do. They love it when you do. Um, Sylvia, uh, hey, Richie, how you doing? MG Toe, yay, Tom, the gratuity pays for the drink alone. Yep, that's right. Uh, Jim Thomas, uh, it is a double shot of uh, Petroni counted as one drink or two on the drink packet. Is a double shot of Petroni 
I don't, I don't know. I think, I think what it is is um, if you tip your guy in a couple of bucks in cash and tell him you want a double, I think it's counted as one drink. <laughs> if you don't throw him a couple extra bucks on the side, you're taking your chances that it might be a double. So, you know, maybe there's a way to prevent that. I would say that for 15 drinks, 60 bucks average, you're paying $4 a drink. Why would you buy a drink package if you're just going to drink a specialty coffee? They cost four bucks anyway. Pop, they cost two fifty. So if you're buying a pop and a specialty coffee and a bottle of water, which I, I know is not $4, you're already losing on this card. You're down to 12 drinks now. You better start drinking those $19 drinks. But I bet you you won't find $19 drinks. You'll find $15 drinks and you'll find $25 drinks. And uh, you're not going to like the selection from 15 below. I, I just I just have a suspicious. Unless you're just a beer drinker or a, a rum drinker, you just want the regular bar rum. You're happy with that. But then again, go a la carte. I say go a la carte. Um, <laughs> Reggie and your man saying, hey, Sylvie. Desi Wagner uh, at Tom Henry. She's saying, um, we chose the dining package and Wi-Fi, only $89 or something like that, for gratuities and dining, none for the Wi-Fi. Mm, interesting. I hope that worked out, Desi. Sylvain Forrest, uh, I bought a soda package. And if I want to buy a Drambuie with with four of a drambui of four with my cigar, I'll just plain pay for it. There, there you go. Just a la carte. Exactly. So that Reggie and her man, a just finished painting project, been at it out, been out it three days. I guess been at it for three days. I need a relaxing cruise. Reggie, you sure do. You need a, you sure do. You need a cruise. Cat Rose, what about the free stuff? What, what about the free? <laughs> Debbie Manuel, hi, y'all. Only 88 today with Hayes in Northern California today. Debbie, you found time to join us for a little bit. How you doing? Nice to have you here. Sylvia, MG Toe, why, why Cruise Carnival? It's what Carnival wants uh, wants to do. What, what's it wants to do? Uh, Jim Thomas, oh, Debbie, you made it. Happy day. Uh, <laughs> Tom Henry. Desi, I like the dining and port credits. Uh, I like the dining and port credits. My company pays the unlimited internet since I use it for work. All right. Good stuff. Wendy Thompson, he he. Uh, Sylvia Swan, hey, Debbie. Uh, Paul Wilkes at Tom Henry. I had the free drink package on the getaway, and the tip charge was only 112 bucks. So a good deal. But others uh, I talked to paid upwards of $200. Oh, my gosh. Tom Henry, hi, Debbie. Got your wedding dress on. Um, <laughs> Desi Wagner, hey, Debbie. All glammed up for a wedding we hear. Uh, Debbie, you can't hide. We know everything about you. MG Toe, I, I'm, not, I'm not cursing Carnival. It's my favorite cruise line. I, I'm even a stockholder at, at Carnival. I just don't like some of their business practices. E NCL is even worse than Norwegian. Norwegian has their issues, don't they? Cam, hey, everybody. Hi, Cam. Cat, huge amount of money for tips. Debbie Manuel, hi, Desi. That is funny. Yes, getting ready for a wedding. Cam, sorry I'm late. What happened with Carnival? Cat Rose, it is nice. Debbie Manuel, hi, Thomas. Hi, Sylvie. Hi, Jimbo. Missed all of you. Uh, Cam is uh, crying. It's Kathy Zoda, Bruce, I think it's 15 alcoholic drinks per day. I don't think there's a limit on the non-alcoholic drinks, at least on Carnival. Laugh out loud. Kathy, that's a good point. You could be dead right on that. Uh, the way I kind of read it, though, it sounded like a 15-drink limit, and I kind of got, got the impression of this. But, hey, if you're on it, you're on it. And I say thank you for uh, the heads up on that. Uh, that's why I'm so glad so many of you watch my show because I need your input to keep me straight. Tina is here and she says, hi, Bruce and all. It's been a while. Tina, where have you been? My goodness. Packing and packing uh, the house, sold a house. She they sold a, That's why. Oh, my God. Been busy looking forward to the pride of America on the 16th of September. Fantastic Hawaiian cruise for a week. That'll be great, Tina. Let us know how that one works out and what you think of it. Uh, and congratulations on selling your house, and hopefully the move will go smoothly for you. Matt Byrne, we are from Wisconsin. The cruise lines lose pretty bad ROFL. We're from Wisconsin. The cruise lines lose pretty bad ROFL. I, I have no idea what that means. Uh, Matt, can you help me with that? What are you talking about? Tell me what you mean by that. I don't know what's going on. Are you ready to play some trivia, you guys? I got some trivia questions for you. I put a few together today, and I thought we'd have some fun with that. Um, see if you guys can uh, guess some of these. I have some quickies here. I got some quick tens, and uh, I thought today, you know, I, I don't know why, but uh, you know, when I'm away from the house, uh, when I'm away from my home, and I'm visiting relatives, it, it's not, you know, you, you're you're in someone else's house, and uh, you know, as grateful as I am to be in someone else's home, 
for the accommodation and the company and the food and everything else. You know, it's great. Go out for dinner or two. Great. Love it. Love chipping in with that. But you kind of miss home cooking. You kind of miss the house. And then you sort of miss other little things from time. You start thinking, oh, I kind of wish I had that. Oh, I have that at home. Oh, I kind of wish I were home for that because I kind of miss that when I'm not at home. Yet. But when I'm on a cruise, uh, the food is okay. Uh, I find that I don't have any food issues when I'm on a cruise. <laughs> Quite the opposite. I find I have way too much uh, as far as choice goes. And I have to come back and eat my food at home now. And that's kind of a letdown. But when I have to pay for it on a meal by meal by meal basis, I'm a little more pickier and I start missing my home cooking. Uh, but one of the things I was uh, missing or, or, or thinking about um, uh, – <laughs> <laughs> Matt laughing on the floor laughing. All right. So Matt Byrne is saying R O F L. Apparently that means rolling on the floor laughing. Is that what that means? Uh, Tom Henry, I assume that is because Wisconsin's are big drinkers. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks, Randy. MG Toe Carnival Corp. Uh, Ada Nova is currently under construction in a shipyard in Pittsburgh, Germany, when the 1106 foot vessel launches later this year. It'll be the first cruise ship to be fully powered by Nick Flick with natural gas. Carnival, the first large cruise company, plans to take delivery of 11 new LNG powered ships between now. 2025. Yes, we've been mentioning that the last few months, and it's good news because uh, cruise ships are being blamed for a lot of air pollution in downtown areas, especially in Europe, where the old ports, are, of course, are in the heart of the city, um, and they're still belching out that diesel and whatever other particulates are in there. Uh, cruise ships are getting uh, more and more uh, restricted as to what they can put up into the air. Matt Byrne, Wendy, got it with uh, RFL. And yes, Wisconsin is the number one drinking state. We have bars open 24 hours. And liquor, sa liquor sales start at 6 a.m. They have to pass a law so we can buy our booze uh, to go tailgate at the Brewers game. So, oh my goodness, unbelievable. Okay, back to home cooking. I miss pies. <laughs> Sometimes I miss I miss a homemade pie. Well, I was thinking about pies, and I thought, hey, I got trivia on pies. So today I've got pie trivia for you. And the, more specifically, I've got a trivia question for you guys uh, to do with pie fillings. And I want you to tell me what countries of the world make the most of these particular pie fillings I'm going to mention. Tell me uh, what countries in the world make the most blueberries for blueberry pie filling. Can you tell me the top 10 countries that grow the most blueberries for blueberry pie filling? I'd like to know if you know that. Uh, Wendy Thompson, Matt, what? No brats and cheese? Oh, that That's how you drink. You have beer with that. That's how it washes it down. Um, <laughs> Paul Wilgus is thinking the United States of America. Uh, let's, can't, do the, don't they grow blueberries in the USA? They sure do. Number one country in the world is U.S. for, for blueberries. Uh, Ed is saying that. Tom is saying it. Kat is saying it. Debbie is saying it. Uh, Sylvia is uh, uh, thinking apple. Mm, uh, Sylvia, okay. Well, uh, apple pie is, is another pie. But I, I'm thinking about blueberry filling here. What countries in the world make the most blueberry filling for pies? Blueberry pie filling. Debbie has a USA. Uh, Reggie and her man has a USA. Wendy Thompson's got Norway. Uh, nope, Norway is not in the top 10 countries. Uh, Tom Henry is thinking France. Yep, number five country, France for blueberries. Uh, Reggie and your man is thinking the country of Maine. Well, the USA, uh, number one, USA, number one. Paul Wilgus, Germany. Yep, number four, Germany. Uh, Sylvia had Germany as well. Cat Rose, Canada, number two country in the world for blueberries, Canada. Yeah, how about that? Uh, France, then we had uh, from Sylvia, then we had Tom Henry going Belgium. Uh, Belgium, nope, Belgium is not in the top 10 for growing blueberries. Uh, Ireland, Cam is thinking about Ireland. How about Ireland? Nope, not Ireland either. Spain, Tom Henry's thinking about Spain. Yes, sir. Spain, eighth most, uh, more eighth highest as far as uh, growing blueberries in the world is the country of Spain. Uh, Sylvie Swan is wondering about China. Nope, China dominates in so many categories of food, but not blueberries. Uh, Sweden, Reggie and her man thinking about Sweden. Yep, number nine. Uh, our, our, our gal from Sweden's not here today. Uh, so far, but yeah, Sweden is number nine. Uh, fantastic. How about that? Our cat Rose had Sweden as well. Uh, so far, I've got the USA, Canada, Germany, France, Spain, Sweden. I need one, two, three, four to go. I'm looking for two, two countries in the uh, Europe, uh, one in Central America, and one in uh, in uh, the, uh, the Oceania area of the world. Tom Henry is wondering about Italy. No, it's not Italy. Uh, Russia is not the country I'm looking for. Two European countries, not Russia, not Italy. Uh, Switzerland just came in. Uh, not on the list, sorry. Norway, uh, already tried, uh, not on the list. I'm looking for a country uh, next door to Germany and um, looking for a country 
uh, kind of next door to Germany on the other side, uh, sort of sort of both sides of Germany, I suppose. Great Britain, uh, no, Mexico, yes, that is Central America. Mexico, number six in the world. Uh, I'm looking for a country next, uh, close to Australia, but not uh, not touching Australia, but sort of a neighbor of Australia. Uh, anybody got a guess on that one? Romania, no, Denmark, no, Costa Rica, no, Austria, no, Brazil, no, Poland, yes. Poland is the uh, one of the European countries. There's another European country that tries to keep water out of the uh, country. Uh, yeah, they try to keep water out. Uh, Brazil, Poland, Czech Republic. Uh, yay, I got one, Canvas saying right on. I need one country. New Zealand, Cat Rose, you got it. Uh, same with uh, MG Toe. You got New Zealand. So did Paul Wilgus. So did uh, Tom Henry, uh, Ed Tolsey. All got New Zealand. Fantastic. That is nine down, one left in Europe, next to Germany, next to Denmark. Uh, they're trying to keep water out of their country uh, by not letting it flood. Here we go. The Netherlands, Wendy and Cat Rose. Thank you. Those the blueberries, lots of blueberries grown in the Netherlands, as seventh most in the world. That's uh, quite a bit of production. That's our blueberry growing countries here USA, Canada, Poland, Germany, France, Mexico, Netherlands, Spain, Sweden, New Zealand. Top 10. All right. Who grows the most pumpkins? Pumpkin pie. Who grows the most pumpkins in the world? Let's see who can come up with pumpkin producing countries. The top 10, and we'll see what we can do with that one. We are coming together with pie fillings today. Pumpkin pies. Oh, my gosh. What do we got here? Tom Henry, Paul Wilgus, Cat Rose, United States of America. Fifth largest. Number five is the USA. MG Toe has Germany. Uh, nope, Germany does not grow pumpkins big enough to make the top 10 anyway. Uh, Mexico from Paul Wilgus, sixth largest in the world. Uh, same with MG Toe, Reggie Nerman, USA, Camp Transylvania, Transylvania, yeah, no can do. Tom Henry, Canada? Nope, Canada not in the top 10. We do grow pumpkins up here, but not in the top 10. USA from MG Toe and uh, Jim Thomas. Uh, Camille uh, Castorina is wondering about Guatemala. Nope, Guatemala is not a top 10 pumpkin producer. How about that? Not in the top 10. Uh, Wendy Thompson is wondering about Mexico. No, we've looked and it's not there. Tom Henry, the United Kingdom, UK. No, sir. Um, MG Toad, England. MG Toad, Canada. Sylvia, Sweden. What about Sweden? Do they grow pumpkins in Sweden? Not in the top 10 in the world. No. Uh, Germany, uh, Wendy Thompson. Uh, no, Germany did not make the list. France from Tom Henry. Is France in the list? No, nope, not France either. Sylvia, I need my globe. I'm not at home uh, winging it with countries. Sylvia, France, no. Israel, Cam is wondering about Israel. Uh, nope, not Israel. Uh, Australia, Tom Henry, nope, not Australia. Italy, Reggie Nerman, does, do they grow pumpkins in Italy? Yes. Eighth largest grower in the world is Italy. Switzerland uh, is another guess. No, not coming in. Um, who do we got here? Camille. Uh, Camille, I think, is going with Peru. I'm going to think uh, her spell check is failing her. Peru is not on the list. I'm sorry. Uh, Vatican, nice try, MG. Uh, Wendy has Spain. Um, yes, number nine country is Spain for pumpkins. There, Camille came in with the correct spelling of Peru, but it didn't matter. It didn't count. Uh, Sylvia, what about Poland? Does Poland grow pumpkins? Nope, not Poland. Nope. Uh, Poland on the list. Ghana. Reggie Nerman is wondering about Ghana. Nope, not Ghana. Cam is thinking about Turkey. Uh, nope, Turkey not in the top 10 either. Sylvia Swan, Norway. What about Norway? Nope, not Norway. Uh, Camille, Vatican, someone here has a, se a sense of humor. Yeah, Camille, it's in honor of the steaming bean who's not with us today. Steamier, when the steamer is here and he's stumped, he goes right to the Vatican each and every time, and he's wrong each and every time. Cat uh, Rose, uh, Chile, uh, no, not Chile. Paul Wilgus, Iran. Uh, yes, Iran, the fourth largest pumpkin-growing country in the world is Iran. Reggie and her man, Portugal. Nope. Nope. Uh, Nigeria. Sylvia Swan is thinking Nigeria. Nope, not Nigeria. Uh, Ethel, USA, we already have it. MG Toe, China, number one. China, number one pumpkin grower. Uh, took a while for someone to guess China. Tom Henry's thinking India. Number two is India, the second largest pumpkin grower in the world. Ethel is thinking Australia. We tried it. Uh, Camille is going with India. I think that's India. We've tried that. We got it. It's number two. Camille, very well done. 
Uh, we have China, India, Iran, the USA, Mexico, Italy, Spain. I need a European country. I need an African country, and I need an Asian country. That's what I need, and we are done. Uh, China, India, Australia, India. I need a European, an African, and an Asian, and we are through here. The Asian country is the most populous island nation in Asia, I'll say. Um, New Zealand is a guess. No, not New Zealand. They're in Oceania. Um, Russia. Yes, the Soviet Union. Russia. Well, the old Soviet Union. Third largest pumpkin grower in the world. The Soviets. Russians. How about that? Uh, Pakistan. No. Austria. No. Pakistan. No. Thailand. No. Still looking for that Asian country. And it's not Thailand. 700 million people live here. Ah, Cam is coming in with Egypt for the African guess. Correct. Egypt. And Tom Henry, Indonesia. Yes, sir. 10th largest pumpkin growing country in the world is Indonesia. We got it. We're done. It's China, India, Russia, Iran, the USA, Mexico, Egypt, Italy, Spain, and Indonesia for pumpkin pie fillings. Pumpkins. Those are your largest growers of that product. How about that? All right. Let's see here. Let's change gears. You know how nice a, how nice a pie smells when it comes out of the oven? Well, talking about smells. <laughs> a, little, a little segue. Uh, tell me the countries of the world that make the most perfume. The largest perfume manufacturing countries in the world. Tell me who they are. There's 21 of them here. What countries in the world do you associate with perfumes and perfume production? And here we go. Cam is saying, I love pie. Cat Rose, I thought pumpkins were a new world fruit. How about that? Uh, Paul Wilgus. France and Tom Henry, France, Kate Rose, France, Wendy, uh, France. Uh, yes, France is number one all by itself. Almost $5 billion of perfume a year out of France. Yeah, they they are number one all the way. MG Toe is looking at India as a country. Uh, it, it's number 15. It is 15th on the list. Uh, France is, again, the number one. Reggie Norman, coconut custard pie. Ooh, you got to love that. MG Toe, USA for perfume production. Number three in the world, the United States of America. Tom Henry is wondering about the United Kingdom. Number six, UK. Uh, Camille is thinking Germany. Yep, number two country in the world for perfume production is Germany, right behind France. Well behind France, though. France is way out in front. MG Toe, Turkey, the country of Turkey for perfume production. Not in the top 21. Nope, not Turkey. Uh, Reggie and your man is thinking Italy. Yes, number five, Italy. Well done. Debbie has France. We've got it. Uh, Reggie and her man, Bermuda. No, nah, Bermuda is not in the top 21 for uh, per perfume production. Sylvia had France. Wendy had Italy. Uh, we've got them already. So, um, uh, Sylvia, also Germany. we got it. Uh, Tom Henry is thinking Belgium. Belgium is number nine on the world list of perfume production. That's because all these people stink, MG is saying. That's why the French, they make all that perfume because they smell so much. How about that? Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm not saying. I'm just... I don't know. Debbie, a dreaming of chocolate cream pie now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once you start talking pie, you got to have pie. See, that's just how this game works. It's unbelievable. Uh, how are we doing here? We got France, Germany, the USA, Italy, UK. We've got Belgium. We've got India. And I need another 15 more. Uh, what are we doing here with guesses? Uh, Deanna, uh, Deanna pronounced Deanna, is uh, guessing Switzerland. And that's number 12. Well done. Deanna, well done. Uh, Kat, Netherlands. Bruce, yeah, it's there. Number eight is the Netherlands. Paul Wilgus, China. Is China on this list? 16th so far. I think they're climbing up the list. But right now, 16th place, Paul and MG Toe had China. MG Toe came right after that with Mexico right in there. Number 17, yes, sir. Mexico, 17th place. And Ethel came in with France there. Tom Henry uh, is guessing Brazil. Uh, you know, with all the Brazilians, there's so many of them, you'd think that they would be a country that would produce a lot of perfume, but you know what? They don't. They probably import a lot of the perfume that they use in Brazil. How about that? Uh, Tom Henry, thinking about Japan. Uh, perfume production, not Japan. No, Japan is not in the top 21 for perfume manufacturing. New Zealand, MG Toe, is thinking New Zealand? No, sir. No go. Uh, Tom Henry also went with New Zealand. Not in there. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, let's see. I need one, two, three, 
I need five European countries still. Still need five European countries. Uh, New Zealand is not on the list. South Korea is not on the list. No. Uh, Egypt. Cat Rose is thinking about Egypt. Uh, Egypt is not on the list. May have been in ancient times, but not in modern day. Reggie and her man thinking about Taiwan. Nope. Taiwan not on the list. Just took a peek for you. Thailand. Paul. Paul Wilgus. Thailand, no, sir, no Thailand either. Reggie Nerman, what about Israel? No, Israel is not a top 21 perfume producer. Uh, Czech Republic, Cam, yes, Czech, number 14. Czech, Czech Republic, number 14. Tom Henry, the Netherlands, we already have it, number eight. Austria, MG Toe, yes, sir, number 20. They just made it. Uh, Tom Henry, Hungary, is Hungary on the list for the top 21? No, Hungary is not in the list for the top 20. Romania, Romania, no, sorry, uh, Reggie, not Romania. Cat uh, had Romania as well. Cam is coming in with Denmark. Uh, Denmark is uh, not on the list either. Sorry, uh, Cam. Uh, Jim Thomas, Canada, no, Canada, not on the list at all. Um, Wendy is wondering, Wendy Thompson, what about Norway? Wondering about Norway. No, Norway, I'm looking there. Couldn't find it. Uh, Wendy, wondering about Belgium. We already have it. It's number nine. Uh, MG Toe, Russia. Russia. Uh, Russia is, uh, has it already been called out? No. And it's not in the top 21. Not Russia. Bosnia, no. Um, Camille Mona. Mona? Camille, you're losing me. Uh, Sylvia, uh, Turkey. Uh, I think we tried Turkey already. And... Uh, I don't think it was on the list. Uh, Poland, MG Toe, yes, number 11, Poland. They make perfume there. Um, any more European countries? I need one. I need two more European countries. I need an Asian country. Uh, I need two Asian countries, actually. I need a Central American country. I need a South American country. So, And I need an Arab country. Oh, my gosh. I need a little of everything here. Uh, Turkey, Poland, Monaco. No, not Monaco. Oh, that's what you're trying to do, Camille. I see your spell check screwed you up there. Uh, no, Monaco, not in the list. Can I buy a vowel? <laughs> right on, Cam. Can, you, can I phone a friend? Uh, Reggie and your man, Dubai. Uh, what country is Dubai in? That's a city. Give me the country. Reggie and your man, can I use my lifeline for the next question? I've been doing that all my life. España, MG Toe. I'll say Spain, and I'll say you're right. Uh, number four country, Spain for perfume production. Um, Cat tried Brazil. No can do. Cam, Iraq. Iraq. No, Iraq is not going to work. I do need a country in, uh, 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 a, 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 in the Arab area. Um <laughs> Cam, yes, you can buy a vowel for five bucks. <laughs> I say send me five bucks and you can buy a vowel. Yeah, that'd be fine. <laughs> Diana, Peru. No, it's not Peru, but Paul and Tom have the United Arab Emirates, and you are both correct. UAE, 13th largest perfume producer in the world. Uh, Arab Emirates, that is correct. A cat had the UAE as well. Cam is crying. Jim Thomas, UK, we've done it. Cat Rose, Jordan, we've uh, we don't have Cam Jordan at all. Camille, United Arab Emirates, you are correct. And MG Toe went with Qatar or quarter. Uh, I need a country in Asia. Uh, I need uh, two in Asia. I need one country with about five million people in Asia. I need the other one with 700 million in Asia. Uh, and then I need a South American country. Uh, that is not Brazil, not Argentina, not Venezuela, but is a uh, very popular country where cruise ships go from time to time, especially if they're going through the Panama Canal. And then I need a, a European country where I have a loyal subscriber and follower that watches us almost every day, except today. She's not here today. It's her home country. What is it? You all know which one this is. Cat Rose, Nepal. Uh, Regina Man, Bangladesh. Tom Henry, Philippines. Cat Rose, India. Paul Wilgus, India. All incorrect. Looking for one country with 700 million people. India has a billion. Need a country with 700 million. With the largest Muslim populated country in the world. Uh, Singapore has come in here. There's my 5 million country. 
in uh, Asia. That's Singapore. Thank you. Fifth largest perfume producer. Cat Rose, Sweden for uh, Nina. That's right. Sweden, number 21. Thank you for that one. Panama from Jim Thomas. Yes. Number 10 perfume producer in the world is Panama. Interesting of all places. I've won two countries to go. One in South America, one in Asia with 700 million uh, people, the largest populated Muslim country in Asia, if not the world. Uh, let's see here. Reggie Man, St. Thomas. Uh, <laughs> MG Doe, Austria. Tracy Dunlop, just wanted to say hi. Glad you got back to Creston Safe. Sorry I missed show today, but we'll catch you on Monday. Tracy, it's all good. Don't worry about it. We're just doing trivia today. It's all good here. Tom Henry, Indonesia. Correct, sir. Indonesia is 18th largest perfume producer in the world is Indonesia. I got one country left to go, and here it is. Columbia from MG Toe. Thank you, MG. That was the last perfume producer we needed. Here is the final list. We have France, Germany, the USA, Spain, Italy, United Kingdom, Singapore, Netherlands, Belgium, Panama, Poland, Switzerland, United Arab Emirates, Czech Republic, India, China, Mexico, Indonesia, Colombia, Austria, and Sweden. Those are the top 21 perfume-producing countries on the planet. Back to pies. Uh, you guys got me going back to pies. Somebody said something about a coconut cream pie. I know somebody said something about that. Tell me who grows the most coconuts in the world. Top 10. We've done this not too long ago. You should remember these off the top of your head. Who grows the most coconuts so we can make coconut cream pie? What are the name of the countries that grow the most coconuts? Here we go with the answers. Oh, my, my, my. How are we going to do this one? Let's see what we've got coming in. Coconut producing countries for coconut cream pie. The first country Cat has come with up with. She's saying the country of Hawaii. Cat. Country Hawaii is a country unto itself, I guess, but it's just not going to count in this quiz. Reggie Nerman, me, uh, Sylvia. So <laughs> I said coconut cream pie. Reggie Nerman is going with me. Sylvia, thanks, Tom. Uh, MG Tobe, the Philippines, number two coconut producer in the world. Philippines. Tom Henry is thinking about Mexico. Number eight in the world for coconut production is Mexico. Cat. Is looking at Cuba. Nope, Cuba is not in the top 10. Reggie Nerman, Jamaica. Jamaica is not in the top 10 for coconut production. No, there's a bunch of them there, but I don't think they grow them as a serious business uh, unto itself. Wendy, uh, the UAE. No, Tom Henry, Philippines. We have it. Reggie Nerman, the United States of America. That would include Hawaii. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't help. Doesn't work. Nope, can't be done. Borneo. MG Toe, uh, toe is going for Borneo. Like way out there. Uh, no, no, not not going to work. Uh, I'll give you a big hint. Uh, oh, I don't even have to give you a big hint. MG just got it. Indonesia, number one, 700 million people. And they're the number one grower of coconuts in the world for export uh, for food production. It's Indonesia. Cat Rose is thinking about Costa Rica. You know, you got the right climate, but nope, not, uh, not enough production from Costa Rica to make the top 10 list. Nope. But we have number one and two, Indonesia, Philippines, number one and two we've got. Uh, Taiwan. From Sylvia, uh, no, not Taiwan. Sorry, it didn't come in there. Reggie Nerman, Dominican Republic, nope, didn't come in either. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Iran. Uh, Iran is not in the top 10 for coconut production. No, sir, not Iran. So, uh, Sylvia is thinking about uh, Singapore. Uh, no, Singapore being a city state, uh, they couldn't grow enough coconuts there. No way. Tom Henry, Panama. Uh, Panama for... Coconut production, nope, not in the top 10 in the world. Certainly got the right climate for it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, Peru, Cam is wondering about Peru. No, sir, not Peru. Uh, Cuba, no, nope, not Cuba either for MG. <coughs> looking for, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm looking for, here we go, India, Cat Rose. That's number three right there. India, thank you, Nigeria. Reggie and her man, nope, Nigeria did not make it. Uh, Egypt, Sylvia Swan. No, India did not. E Egypt did not make it either. Sorry, uh, not uh, for Sylvia or for Tom. Egypt did not work out. Reggie and her man, Brazil. There we go. Brazil is number four in the world for coconut production. Egypt, uh, Brazil. Excuse me. South Africa. Paul Wilkes is wondering. Nope. Um, I'm looking for a bunch of Asian countries right now. It's Asia, 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 really. Zimbabwe, uh, the Bahamas, no. 
I need uh, one, two, three, four, all five. I need five, and they're all Asia or Asia proper, Asia area. Colombia, no, can't help Colombia this time from the from the South America. Looking for Asian countries. Uh, um, uh, I'll start giving hints here in a minute. Uh, Japan, no, not Japan. Uh, think south. Think south rather than north in Asia. Venezuela, no. Taiwan, no. China, uh, we already have it. South Korea, go south from there, further south where it's hot. Cat, you got the right idea. Thailand, you got it. Hong Kong is not a country. It's part of China, sorry. Uh, Korea, uh, neither will work for us in this case. We're looking where it's hot and humid. Uh, Regina Man, Cambodia. That's a good guess too, but it's not the right country, but it's certainly the right neighborhood. You are right there. Think of all the countries in and around Cambodia, and you're gonna, you're going to nail them. Vietnam, yes, sir. Vietnam. MG had Vietnam. Uh, Sylvia, the Philippines. Um, we've already got number two. <clears throat> Borneo, no, not they're not just not big enough in the export side. Regina Man, Thailand. We got Thailand. I need one, two, three more. Um, I need a country that's a, a, an island just south of India. I need a uh, an island next door to in Indonesia, right? Maybe on the same one of the same islands of Indonesia, maybe. Malaysia just came in. Thank you. Malaysia was the third one I'm looking for. There's two to go. Uh, what do we got here? Laos, Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur is a city in Malaysia. Uh, I don't need Laos. I'm looking for the island just south of India. All kinds of Tamil tigers and civil war strife there. Not Australia, no. Um, and I need a country with three words. The middle word is new. Something, new, something. Uh, anybody can do that. Sri Lanka, thank you. There's the one just south of India on an island. Cat Rose Stick in Fiji, good guess for islands and tropics. That's not the one I'm looking for, Tom Henry, New Zealand. Sorry. Sylvia, oh, didn't, didn't I tell you I don't have my globe? <laughs> I didn't. Bruce. I told you I don't have my glow. I, I'm not going to be of any good, good use to you today. Tom Henry Bengal. Uh, Papua New Guinea. Thank you, Cam. Papua New Guinea. That did it right there. Coconut producers. Indonesia, Philippines, India, Brazil, Sri Lanka, Vietnam, Thailand, Mexico, Papua New Guinea, and Malaysia. How about that? What about that? All right. Uh, let's talk almonds. Almond pie. Let's talk almonds. Uh, tell me the countries that grow the most almonds. The top 10 almond growing countries in the world. Let's see how you do on this one. Because uh, you got to have almonds for almond pie. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here come the first guesses. I feel them coming on a little delay. Here we go. <coughs> almond producing countries. For Almond Pie, Debbie Manuel, Jim Thomas, Paul Wilgus, all coming in with the home country, the United States of America. Number one, almond producing country, the USA. Absolutely right. Sylvia is thinking Spain. Number two country is Spain, Sylvia. Well done. Kat, I think, was trying to USA as well. Uh, Reggie and her man coming in with Italy. Yep, number five or six. Looks like Italy never heard of Almond Pie. Anyone? Almond Pie. Reggie and her man, Spain, MG Toe. Canada, no, Canada, too far north for almonds. Sylvia Swan is guessing France. Uh, nope, not France. Um, Reggie Nerman is guessing Turkey. Yes, eighth largest almond grower in the world, Turkey. Uh, Paul Wilgus is looking for the country of Israel. Sorry, no, not a top 10 producer. Uh, Tom Henry had Canada here. Debbie Emanuel, Northern California. That's right. That's where the almonds are coming from. Fantastic. Paul Wilgus, the, the country of Iran. Iran uh, is number five for world almond production. Paul Wilgus, Portugal. Uh, no, sir, not Portugal, sorry. Uh, Germany, MG Toe is thinking Germany. No, no, not Germany. Uh, Israel, no, no, not Germany. Mexico or Mexico? Uh, Mexico or Mexico? Uh, no, no, neither, neither, neither. Iran, no good. Iraq is not in there either. A little too unstable to be growing anything in Iraq right now. Jordan, Cat Rose is thinking about Jordan. No, not Jordan. Suzanne Hoffman, just give me the recipe for the pie, please. <laughs> MG Toe is thinking India. Uh, no, India is uh, not in the list at all. Uh, the United Kingdom uh, is not on the list either. Sorry, uh, Tom. 
China, Sylvie Swan, uh, Sylvie's thinking China. No, so, uh, not China either. It's not in there. I'm looking for, uh, let's see here. Oh, I got some eclectic locations. I need um, a, a, a country in the Oceania area of the world. I need a country in uh, North Africa. Um, I need a country in the Middle East. Uh, I need another country in North Africa. And I need a country in uh, in uh, Asia, but I'll say uh, next door neighbor to India. Uh, that Asia, okay? Uh, more guesses. Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Greece, Brazil, Australia. Yes, Australia is correct, but not Greece and not Turkey. Uh, not Saudi Arabia, not Brazil, no. Japan, no. Egypt, Egypt, no. Next door, just over, a little further over. Morocco, yes, Morocco is one of them. There's one more between Morocco and Egypt. One in between there that I'm looking for. Where is Oceania? Never heard of that. Oceania is like uh, countries in the Pacific that are surrounded by water. That's what I'm talking about. Paul Wilgus, United Arab Emirates, no can do. Morocco, we've got. Reggie Nerman, Pakistan, yes. Pakistan, no, sorry, it's not Pakistan. It's next door to Pakistan. The country next door to Pakistan is the one I'm thinking about. It's not India. It's the other side of Pakistan. They're also next door to Iran. They're in the middle. Uh, Cat Rose is thinking Libya. I'm thinking the one country that isn't Libya. There's Egypt. There's Libya. There's this country. Then there's Morocco, Algeria. What is that country in between Libya and over here uh, between Morocco and, and Algeria? What is that country? Uh, Zimbabwe? No, not Zimbabwe. Uh, on, the north, on the coast of the Mediterranean. And in a Middle Eastern country, uh, and a country next door to Iran and Pakistan, right in between. Uh, Cam's going, hmm, yes, you're going to learn your geography, folks. So you hang out with me a while. Reggie and her man, Bangladesh. You're going the other direction. Uh, I want to go the other direction. You're heading towards Asia. I'm going back this direction towards Iran. It's okay. It's so confusing. There's so many countries in that area. Tunisia. Cam is coming in with Tunisia. Yes, it is Tunisia. Thank you, sir. You got it. Reggie Nerman is coming to Syria. That's another one. Yes, sir. That's the Mideast country I'm looking for. Syria, leaving me one country. That's where American soldiers are right now. Afghanistan. That's the one between Pakistan and Iran. Afghanistan. Thank you, Tom Henry. That did it. That list is complete. Well done. The USA, Spain, Australia, Iran, Morocco, Italy, Syria, Turkey, Tunisia, and Afghanistan. Number one almond producers in the world for pie. Yeah, let's make some pie. Uh, anyone want to take a shot at uh, sweet potatoes? Who grows sweet potatoes? Uh, what kind of pie do you make with sweet potatoes? You make sweet potato pie? Is that what they call it? I, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't know if I've honestly ever had it. Sweet potato growing countries of the planet. What are they? Anybody want to take a shot at this? Oh, my goodness. We got some doozies in here. Uh, this should be kind of fun. Uh, Tom Henry, USA. Paul Wilgus, USA. Number eight country, the United States. Uh, Paul Wilgus, Mexico. Mexico, not on the list, not in the top ten. There is a blue diamond plant in Sacramento. That's for almond uh, pr processing, isn't there? Yeah, that's right. The blue diamond plant, big company. Uh, Sylvia Swan, sweet potato pie. Yum, she's saying. Tom Henry, Mexico, no can do. Cat Rose, yes, you do. Uh, Reggie and her man, USA. Jim Thomas, Mexico. No, no, no. Reggie and her man, Nigeria for sweet potatoes. Number two country, Nigeria. Uh, Paul Wilgus is thinking Canada. I'm saying no can do. Nope, not Canada. Turkey. Cam is wondering about Turkey. Nope, not for sweet potatoes. No, it's not Turkey. Spain, Reggie and her man, Spain. Nope, not uh, not Spain either. Sorry. Um, got Nigeria. We got the USA. We only have two countries so far. For sweet potato production. Uh, Sylvia is thinking France, and I'm looking for France. It's not there. No, India. India. Uh, yeah, number nine country is India. They just made the list. Paul Willigas, what about Iran for sweet potatoes? No can do. Ireland, uh, since, you know, they're kind of potato grower. Yeah, well, they're not sweet potato grower. Ghana, Reggie and her man thinking Ghana. No, not Ghana. There are other African countries, however. Yes, Tom Henry, China, number one sweet potato grower. China, Paul Wilgus, Brazil, not Brazil. Uh, same with Kat, no can do. Reggie is thinking Italy. Nope, no Italy here. Sylvia, Jamaica, Jamaica. No, no, sorry, no Jamaica. The UK, no, Egypt. Egypt or the UK? No and no. Looking for one, two, three, four more African countries. 
looking for one Asian country, uh, two Asian countries. Oh my goodness. Asia and Africa is what we're after. Morocco, Morocco, and Mali. No, no, and no. Neither, neither, neither of those still looking. Uh, one of the countries that grows the most sweet potatoes is one of the poorest, hungriest countries on earth. Um, they obviously don't grow enough sweet potatoes. They probably keep them all, and they eat them all, and it's still not enough to feed everybody. Uh, what are these countries? We have Zimbabwe coming in here. No, it's not Zimbabwe. France coming in. South Africa. South, not, not South Africa. Uh, Singapore for Asia. No. Pakistan. No. Malawi or South Africa. No, not either of those either. Um, still looking for an Asian country and four African countries. South Africa, no. Regina Man, Zimbabwe, no. Bangladesh, no, not Bangladesh. What country in Africa is, uh, where, they, where are they starving to death? Uh, Ghana's a guess. Ghana, I think, has been guessed already and uh, is not on this list. Uh, would have been one of the first ones to qualify. Jim Thomas, you are correct. Ethiopia. Ethiopia, the seventh largest grower of sweet potatoes in the world. And they're not growing enough. Uh, Sylvia Swan, China is number one. We already have it. Tom Henry, Indonesia. Yes, sir. Indonesia, number five, largest grower. I need one, two, three African countries and one, Af one Asian country. The Congo, no. Benin, no. Neither of those either. Uh, the, the Asian country is uh, uh, a former country that used to be divided into two halves, north and south. It's now one. And they're now friends of the USA. What is this country called? Uh, many Americans died in this country. Uh, let's see. That's in Asia. Uh, for Africa, uh, we used to be run by a dictator, uh, still terribly run. Um, let's see. Oh, a couple of them. They're bad. These are bad places. Oh, they're in sad shape. Libya. Uh, uh, Liberia. Neither of those either. Uh, I, I'm, you're in the right ballpark, though, for the kind of country I'm talking about. Sorry to say. Paul Wilgus, Vietnam. Thank you, Paul. You got it. Vietnam. Uh, now a country of the USA. Sudan. No, not Sudan. They're so bad off. They can't grow a damn thing there. It's sad. Um, I'm going to have to start giving these up to you guys uh, so we can move on here. The countries I'm looking at for Africa, I'm looking for Uganda. The fourth, third largest sweet potato growing country in the world is Uganda, and they're dead broke. Tanzania, Tanz Tanzania, I mean, are you kidding me? And Rwanda, home of all that ethnic cleansing five, seven years ago. Terrible, terrible uh, place you don't want to visit. It's a sad story. There you go. That's the end of that one. Sweet potatoes, China, Nigeria, Uganda, Indonesia, Tanzania, Vietnam, Ethiopia, USA, India, Rwanda. For pies. Okay, I got one to go. Got one more quiz, and we're going to call it a day. Uh, this one is a bit of Hollywood for you guys. All right, tell me the biggest movie stars from Hollywood, the top 10 biggest movie stars of 1950, 1955, and 1959. Now, some of these are on all three lists, and I'll give you credit for all three. But tell me the names of the biggest movie stars in Holloway, Hollywood. 1950, 55, and 59. These would be the big old box office champions of the day. Uh, Cam says, darn it, I was just about to say Rwanda. <laughs> Paul Willigas, Cary Grant, same with Tom Henry. Cary Grant was number two in 1959. Uh, Cary Grant uh, did not rank in 1955 and in 1950. Did not rank either, but certainly in 59. Sylvia Swan, Rock Hudson. The Rock, Rock Hudson was, Rock Hudson was a number one movie star in 1959. Uh, not prior to that, 1959. How about that? Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, going Crosby. De De Deanna is thinking Bing Crosby. Yep. Number three in 1950. Uh, 1955, no longer on the list. 1959, no longer on the list. Bing Crosby was a man of the 40s uh, for more movies, for sure. Betty White, no. Betty White, Cam, never a movie star of self note. Television star, yes. Reggie Nerman, James Cagney. Why I oughta, 
Uh, let's see. James Cagney. Was James Cagney ever showing? No. James Cagney was probably 30s and 40s, not 50s. Uh, let's see here. Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe. That's a darn good guess, but no. Marilyn Monroe was not in the top 10 in any of those three years. Uh, maybe 1960, 61, just before she passed away, but not back then. Uh, John Wayne, Reggie and her man. Number one movie star, 1950, John Wayne. Number three movie star, 1955. And number uh, eight in 1959, John Wayne. Yep. Bing, we've got to come, come and gone. Yeah, Deanna. Uh, Tom Henry, Gary Cooper. That cowboy, Gary Cooper. Gary Cooper was a uh, number five in 1955, uh, but only in 55. 1959 didn't show on the rankings. Uh, Gary Cooper. Elvis. Uh, no, Elvis showed up in the 60s. Uh, too soon for Elvis. Bob Hope, Reggie and her man. Uh, Bob Hope was a number two movie star in 1950. Bob Hope was off the list in 55, and he was not on the list in 1959 anymore. No. Nope. Uh, Errol Flynn. Errol Flynn. Robin Hood and all those characters. Yeah. A child of the 40s and the 30s. Errol Flynn was toast in the 50s. Uh, he had had too many uh, quality drinks and too many cigarettes, and it was all over for Errol Flynn. By that time, Deanna Elizabeth Taylor what about Elizabeth Taylor? No, nope. Elizabeth Taylor was not a top 10 movie star of the 50s. Something tells me maybe in the 60s. Uh, Elvis, no. Uh, Tom Henry, um, uh, Gene, uh, Gene Kelly. I'm going to say Gene Kelly. You're thinking Kelly. Uh, Gene Kelly, no. I don't have Gene Kelly as a top 10 movie star either. Uh, Doris Day, yes. Doris Day uh doris day came into in 1959 she was the number four movie star in 1959 with rock hudson um what do we have here uh gene uh, tom henry had gene a uh, barbara stanwick reggie and her man came with barbara stanwick great name um doesn't look like a top 10 in the 50s something tells me the 40s would have been more her style timing uh gary cooper we've done doris day we've done fred astaire the dancer Fred Astaire doesn't show in the 50s. I think we're past uh, Fred's time for movies, or he just was a top 20, not a top tenner. Uh, Betty Davis. Betty Davis. Um, Betty Davis, I don't show as a top 10 actress in any of those three years. Isn't that something? Dean Martin. Tom Henry, uh, yeah, Dean Martin with Martin and Lewis, 1955, were, uh, were the sensation uh, for about 54, 55, 56, right in there. But not 1950 and not 1959. Uh, Jerry Lewis, ah, Lewis and Martin in 55. Jerry Lewis on his own, 1959. He was number nine in Hollywood, uh, and he moved higher in the early 60s from that ranking as an individual movie star. Laurel and Hardy, no, not local and Hardy, not Laurel and Hardy, sorry, Jim. Reggie and her man, Paul Newman, uh, 60s, 70s, sorry. Uh, Jim Thomas, Randolph Scott, yeah. Randolph Scott uh, was number 10 in 1950, and I believe Randolph Scott was a top actor in the 40s, big time. But in 1950, hung on to the number 10 spot, Sylvia, Everybody from the Rat Pack, laugh out loud. You got a name of Reggie and her man, Fred McMurray. No, Fred McMurray, not a top 10 movie star. Tom Henry, Debbie Reynolds. Yes, Debbie Reynolds was a number five movie star in 1959. She was just coming in. Reggie and her man, Lucille Ball, not a movie star uh, big enough to crown. No, Jim Thomas, Gene Autry. Gene Autry was a huge star, Gene Autry. But I have a feeling that Gene Autry... Mo known for um, television in the 50s, maybe movies in the 40s, but certainly, uh, and radio, of course. Jimmy Stewart, yes, James Stewart, number one movie star in 1951, uh, 59, 55. In 1950, James Stewart was a number five movie star. Number, number three in 1959, James Stewart was big time in the 50s, absolutely big time. Fred Astaire, no can do. Shirley Temple, back to the 20s and 30s. Sammy Davis Jr., no, no, not a movie star of note to be in the top 10. 
didn't make it. We're kind of getting there. I'm looking for one of the uh, stars in Gone with the Wind. Anybody know? Um, I'm looking for uh, a movie star that uh, that uh, starred in uh, with Catherine Hepburn. And Catherine Hepburn isn't on the list, by the way. Who co-starred with Catherine Hepburn in a number of movies? A male star. Uh, the Three Stooges, no can do. June Allison, yes. June Allison was uh, 1955. She was the number nine movie star at the time. June Allison. Um, Roy Rogers, no television. He was television. King Ramses. <laughs> Reggie and your man. Peter Lawford, uh, more of the 60s kind of guy. Reggie and your man. Richard Burton, 60s. Jim Thomas Hardy, uh, you know, Laurel and Hardy. No, no, no. I'm looking for a comedy act from for 1950. Definitely two guys from the 1950 range. Uh, I'm wondering about a gal who ended up marrying a prince. An uh, actress who ended up marrying a prince. You remember her? Uh, what about The Godfather? The guy who played The Godfather in the original movie, The Godfather? Uh, here we go, Reggie and your man, Spencer Tracy. Yes, Spencer Tracy, number nine movie star, 1950, uh, but not, not beyond that. Spencer Tracy in the 40s, very big. Um, let's see here. Any more coming through here? Who played The Godfather in 1972? Um, uh, who, uh, who was the lead actor in Casablanca? Anybody remember that guy? Uh, Tom Henry, Grace Kelly, married a prince. Yes, Grace Kelly was the number two movie star in 1955. She ended up marrying a prince and was no longer a movie star. How about that? Uh, that's right. Grace Kelly came in. Marlon Brando is coming in here. Thank you, Marlon Brando, the godfather. 1955 was the sixth most popular movie star. What about the famous singer? Uh, he was more famous for his singing than for his acting. But in 1959, this guy was the seventh Eighth most popular movie star in the movies. He was a small Italian fella. Had a pretty good career singing throughout his life. He was a Rat Pack guy. He was the leader of the Rat Pack. Who was the leader of the Rat Pack? Humphrey Bogart just came in. Reggie and her man. Oh, that's right, Bogey. Casablanca. We're going to have a serious relationship here. Uh, who else is left to get? Um, we're getting kind of close to the last of these guys. Gene Simpson, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Sinatra. Frank Sinatra is the correct answer to that uh, crooner who was the singer. Thank you very much. Um, we're looking for an actress. Her first name was Esther. What's, what was her last name? Her first name was Esther. What was her last name? Um, there's a guy named Clifton something. Clifton blank. Anybody? And then there was Lou and Bud. What were their last names? They were a comedy duo in the 50s, the 40s. Lou and Bud. Who's on first? What's on second? Who knows these guys? Uh, let's see. Uh, who was the co-star in Gone with the Wind? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Who said that line? Esther Williams. Thank you. There's Esther Williams. We got Esther. Uh, we have Catherine Hepburn was never on the top batch here. Uh, Costello is one of the last names. What's the other last name? Lou and Bud what? Something and Costello or what? Who are they? Abbott and Costello. There it is. They were the number six movie stars in 1950. Lou Abbott and Bud Costello. Clifton Webb. Thank you. Somebody knew that one. That was a 1950 movie star. Who was in Gone with the Wind? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Who said that line in Gone with the Wind? Famous actor, Clark Gable. Here we go. The number four movie star in 1950. The number 10 movie star in 1955. We have two movie stars left, both from 1959. Her first name was Susan. What was the last name of this actress? Susan what? And the other guy's name was, what was his name? What was his first name, Bruce? Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah. Oh, first name is Glenn. What was his last, last name? His last name was after the name after a car. Glenn what? Uh, let's see here. Clark Gable, Bing Crosby we have coming in. I'm looking for Susan somebody and Glenn somebody from 1959. Susan Hayward. Suzanne's got it. Well done, Suzanne. And uh, Susan Dre, Susan Day. No, not Susan Day. Sorry, Tommy. <laughs> Susan Sarandon. No. <laughs> no. Glenn Ford. Thank you, guys. Glenn Ford was the number six actor in 1959. Glenn Ford. Cowboy. That did.
did the lists right there of all three uh, years where these actors became the top dogs of Hollywood. Hollywood. How about that? They led the way in the 50s and took over from those in the 40s and left it behind in the 60s and 70s for the next generation. And they're on and they're on and they're on. There you go. That is today's trivia questions for the day. I think we've had enough of that. Thank you all for joining me today and sticking around. There's still 15 of you guys hanging around here. You obviously have nothing better to do with yourselves. Thank you so much. <laughs> and thanks for thumbs ups. How many did I get today? 16 thumbs ups. Thank you for such a small audience. I can't complain about 16 thumbs ups. Anybody want to spare some more? I would thank you very much for those. I will be on Monday at 5 o'clock Eastern time. We'll talk cruise ship news and see what's going on out there. Anybody want to talk about anything else, you let me know. And uh, thank you for all of your uh, kind words and donations and support. Uh, uh, folks are still picking up stuff on Amazon.com. Thank you for that. I appreciate you using my affiliate link for that. Thank you for subscribing to my channel, telling your friends about me, and sharing me on Facebook. Thank you very much for sharing my videos on Facebook. I couldn't be more happy about that. Reggie and her man, <laughs> Reggie and her man, we are champions of trivia. TWB trivia, way better than on cruise ship. Paul Woolagas, Tom, laughing out loud. Yeah, I had to get in before you do. Um, cat, air quality went to not healthy for sensitive groups here. It's bad here. I'll be going to the party with 24-year-old Sylvia saying, hang in there, Sylvia. <laughs> Cab, thanks for another amazing show, Bruce. See you all later. Thank you, everybody. Uh, have a great afternoon, a great evening, a nice day off tomorrow. Just see another thumbs up coming through. I got 17 now. Thank you guys for that. I will catch you on Monday at 5 o'clock Eastern time and uh, have yourselves a great weekend. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce saying thanks for joining me today, August the 25th, 2018. We'll see you next time. Take care for now. Goodbye, everybody.